the main focus of my life is on composing music that I feel good about. You know, I never went looking for the career or for the market and then trying to chase that. I mean, I think the most important thing you can do is stick to what you like because eventually you'll become strong at that and you'll attract an audience to something that you feel passionate about because being in the music business, it is hard work. You are working either the business aspect or the creative aspect 24 seven. And if it's not something you feel passionate about, you know, forget about it. So, you know, for me, I've done that along the way. You know, I started my own group. Now I publish things myself. You know, that that's one thing. I would have maybe um, seen the value, the potential value down the road of my music a little bit more. I kind of assumed in the beginning, eh, it's not really worth any anything. That's somebody else's. It. So I gave some things away that I shouldn't have. Mm -hmm. I would retain full ownership of everything, every step of the way. Well, and hiring people to help, but not taking a piece of my ownership. Right. You know, paying a premium maybe to get them to work for you, but not, you know, paying less and then giving them ownership of your work. Right. That's, I think that's very important, especially now, because everything's changing so much. So if you move from one thing to another, you want to be able to take, you know, your masters, your copyright, you want everything right. in your own hands. Right. That's my personal opinion. Well, it's been huge. I mean, when I first joined, I, um, somebody at Meet the Composer had said, oh, you should join ASCAP. And I was like, oh, nobody's ever going to pay anything for my music, you know. But it really didn't take that long before all of a sudden I was seeing royalties coming in. And one really special thing about ASCAP for musicians in, in my field, which is mainly jazz, you know, the boundaries become less definable. But they had this special awards program where they divvy out money to people who kind of fall between the tracks or, or the cracks fall between the cracks you know so your your music maybe isn't charted so easily on the on the radio stations or whatever so that's a really nice thing that I know other societies I don't believe they have and it's just it's just been great the people have been supportive it's a huge organization yet you find your personal you know contact points and it's been great for me I love it love it when the checks come in. Oh, it's, I know it's not free money, but it feels like when they come, it's like, oh, wow, something that I didn't have to fly someplace for or whatever, you know, it just kind of is there, so that's great.